Hello viewers, today I'll share the implementing functionalities on Todo Responsive Flutter app. On this app, we will use getx for state management and hive for offline database. So let's get started. First of all, we need to separate these two parts, this task list part and this no task part. So to do so, first we will apply get builder on the screen. Here the get builder will reveal the UI when state will be applied and it comes from get package before use it you must install get package. It's id decode so it's id would be tasks. Inside builder method we are going to add list of task for today, tomorrow, later and as task. And now let's import task model. Let's see task model. Here we have some fields, id, title and much more fields. In builder method we are going to add some conditions. If as task is not empty then it will take a for loop. Here is same day comes from table calendar package. Let's import the package first. So before use it, we need to add the package inside pubsec.yml file and install this package. Well, in for loop, if the day is due date and date time dot now, then it will take to the list. Else, if the day is due date and it take one more day, then it will return tomorrow list. Otherwise, it will return later list. So we are gonna add two widgets. One for check there's have any task or not and another for body. The check widget will return as task is empty then it will return container otherwise it will return child. In that now we need to pass child parameter. Now we will add the widget in body property. In body widget we are gonna return check if empty widget to check there's any task or not. It's child will return for responsiveness instead of return column we are gonna return wrap widget. And it takes children parameter. In that we'll have some conditions. If today is not empty, then it will return task list widget. And in task list widget, we'll have some modifications. So let's move on the file. In that we're gonna add some fields for task, title block, and scroll height. Now we need to import the task model. Now let's add all the final fields. And the task and title block are required here. If title block is empty, will be returned sized box. Otherwise, will be returned custom text widget and task block. And text would be title block. And now we need some modification in task block widget. Here also we're gonna add a field to access task models object. Let's import task model and add the final field. In checkbox, bill would be task data dot is finished. And here text would be task data dot title in description we'll have a condition if task data body is empty will be shown as description otherwise have one more condition if is body length greater than 20 then will be show body uh, substring format and otherwise will be show task data dot body date and time would be date format that comes from intl package and in format we have passed widget dot task data dot due date in that text would be describe enum task data dot priority and text type enum comes from foundation package instead of task block we are gonna apply map on that to get task list now let's check task list widget here you can see task is required so let's add it and the task empty list will be replaced with today and the title block would be today and the next two conditions would be like it if tomorrow is not empty both would be tomorrow if later is not empty both would be later to update the ui now we need to pass task controller now let's create the task controller in the live directory i'm going to create a new folder controller in the directory let's create a new file task controller dirt and in the file first of all we'll create a class task controller and extends the getx controller auto imported its package in that i have added get.find get by this getx will, getx will automatically find your controller and then i have initialized local database here we are going to use hive database and then i have added list of tasks 
now let's import the task controller here now let's reload this application to see uh, to check what happened oops we get an error we need to put the controller in main function so how we can do that we can do that by using lazy put method now let's import all the stuff task controller get package local database and also we need to replace the material app widget with get material app widget now let's reload this application oh it's working but here's the problem is height for now let's comment it now it's look cool now let's implement create operation to create delete and update task here first we have to initialize task model to access its object here i have added a condition if all tasks not null then new task will be all tasks else new task would be task models objects now we're gonna add the old task as a required parameter to generate task id i have used uuid package let's import it to use this package you need to install the package using passpec.ml file in that instead of create new task we'll add a condition if old task not null it will show task details otherwise we'll be show create new task and now we need to pass the variable in the widget parameter and also need to add here with it let's add new task and here also let's see that file here context is required so context should be context one more error let's see here also context should be context for header buttons we are gonna create separate widget call it header buttons dot dart and in that let's create a stateless widget call it header buttons and it will return that padding and now let's import material package and custom button and now let's add the widget over here and import it in the header buttons we are going to add some fills let's import task model and let's add all the final fills and make all fields record now i'm gonna wrap the padding with row widget because there would be two buttons inside it i'm gonna add a condition if all test not null then it will show delete button in unpressed callback i have added a delete task method first let's add task controller on the UI to access delete method so this is delete method that will delete task from database in done buttons on pressed callback i have added some conditions if all tasks not null and all tasks equal to new task then it will navigate to previous screen else if all tasks equal to null then it will call save task method otherwise it will call update task method and navigate to the previous screen in controller now we need to create save test function and update test function now let's reload this application first of all let's add a padding over here to fix its position let's add a condition if all test not null alignment should be space between otherwise it will be end now it's right align hint text should be dot tier it comes from gatex package unchanged callback i have added model set state function to add the new value in validator if new test title is empty then it will return please enter the title otherwise it will return null and in second text field also would be dot tier in hint text now let's add its initial value new test dot title autofocus false and also add a next text field initial value would be new test dot body and copy the unchanged callback and put over here other things will be next part till then goodbye